Hey student, watch this video and learn how better what native speakers say when they are excited about something. I will teach you five different ways to express excitement when you want to say you are excited about something in English. So make sure to watch this video until the end. Hey there, I'm Teacher Pricks and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, Anytime in English, make sure to subscribe to my channel because every week there's a new and interesting lesson to help you become a better and more confident English speaker. I always try to bring the best, the very best English lesson to help you on your journey to fluency, okay? Now, here on my channel, I help pre-intermediate and intermediate students to go from stuck to speaking. So, this lesson is 100% in English, yes. Now, if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. It is an honor to have you here. I appreciate it. Let's dive into the content. What native speakers say when they are excited. Now, guys, at this level, at a pre-intermediate level, you will need to know vocabulary, okay? And basically, there are two important reasons why you need to master English vocabulary. This is why every English learner needs to do that. The first reason is because you need to understand people in conversations anywhere, anytime. So the more vocabulary you know, and I'm not talking about quantity, I'm, I'm talking about quality, but at some point you will know more and more, and that's good, okay? So this will help you understand native speakers more easily anywhere, anytime. But you don't need always to, you don't always need to use the vocabulary you learn. So for comprehension, it's important to include vocabulary practice in your routine. Now, the second reason is for conversation, so that you can speak more naturally the way native speakers do. Always keeping in mind that fluency is communication, not perfection. I'm never talking about exaggerating, okay? Exaggerating the number of words you know, the frequency you study. No, I'm talking about quality, enjoying the process, okay? So, if you want to go from stuck to speaking, Vocabulary is essential. And another important lesson before I show you the expressions. To learn a lesson, I must use it. So at the end of the lesson, post one example in the comments using at least one word you learned here in today's lesson, okay? But here we go. To be revved up. Ooh, I like this one, you know? I was watching a TV show, I think last week, and that's when I got the idea to give you this lesson because they used at least two, two or three expressions that I'm going to teach you today. Three, three expressions that I'm going to teach you in this video. So I was like, hmm, interesting. I'm gonna show my students on YouTube, yes. So to be revved up, and I use verb to be in all the expressions because you will need verb to be. I am excited. You don't say I excited. You say I am, she is, my friends are, my neighbor is, okay? So you need verb to be next to the expression, revved up, okay? Next to the word. So repeat after me, revved up. Ah, so to be revved up, <laughs> to be revved up means you are very excited about something. You're really excited, yay! So here's an example. Well, two actually. The kids are revved up for the summer break. Yes, they are very excited. They are revved up for the summer break. Are you revved up for this year? Ah, let me know in the comments. See, contextualization. I am totally revved up for 2023. There are so many amazing things that are going to happen this year. So I am all revved up. You know? Tell me something you're revved about. You're revved up about. <laughs> you're revved up about. Okay. Yeah, tricky, even for teacher pricks. Okay. Another example. Michael was all revved up because his team won the tournament. Oh, come on. Of course, we get revved up when our favorite team or favorite um, player wins something and winning a tournament. Of course, you get revved up. Sometimes get, okay, but verb to be the best one, but I got so revved up last night. Why? Oh, because I met my friends and we went out dancing. It was so fun, okay? Creating examples. I posted two examples to make this lesson short. But guys, anywhere, anytime, what I teach you is what I do. I'm always practicing. That's why I create examples so easily 
because every week I practice this with the new words I learn. Because as I told you before, to learn a lesson, I must use it. So if you want to learn, you have to use the lesson you study, okay? But now, the next one. This is a combo, okay? To be psyched about something or to do something, okay? So you can be, oh, I'm, I'm psyched about a situation, about Christmas. Or to be psyched up to do something, to do an action, then you need a verb, okay? So that's the difference. In one part, about, you don't use a verb. And two, you use a verb, okay? So here it means you are excited, especially about something that is going to happen. Ah, and I have an example for you about me, mademoiselle. Well, not about myself, but something that is good for you. But let's take a look at these examples first, okay? The kids are psyched about the summer break. Yes, vacation! Here in Brazil, because in the United States, in Europe, it's not summer break. It's winter for you guys, right? So the kids are psyched. Repeat after me, psyched. Psyched about. Psyched about. The kids are psyched about summer break. Yeah, they can't wait. They're gonna travel, go to their grandma's, you know, go to the park. They are so psyched about it. They're so psyched about summer break, okay? Another example. My friend is psyched to play the new Harry Potter game. He's such a nerd. <laughs> yes, I think uh, Harry Potter's game will be released for PlayStation 5 uh, in March or April. I'm not sure. Or maybe it has been released already, okay? I don't know when you're watching this. But yeah, I was watching this video from this girl and she was, she, she was saying she was really excited about it, you know? And she didn't even like playing video games, but she was psyched about it. Huh? She was psyched about the new game. So I can say, oh, I'm psyched about the new game or I'm psyched to play the new Harry Potter's game. Oh my God, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be dope. Huh? Dope. <laughs> now, my example for you, I am psyched about my online and free workshop that is happening this week. Actually, it became available. The first episode became available today, this morning, only for the people who register. So I am really psyched about it. I can't wait to read your comments for your participation. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, hurry up. You know, this week, the episodes are on fire. You're going to love them. So in this workshop, I'm teaching my students, the people who participate, how to go from stuck to speaking over the next six months. That's my job. That's my mission. Help people talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Yes. <laughs> and guys, before I continue, make sure to support this channel. I know I have to repeat this a lot because it is important. It's this is my job. And how do you help me? By liking, by sharing this video with your friends and by becoming part of the gang. So when you subscribe, you're helping me a lot, okay? And if you want to learn more about my methods, you know, I have a great study plan that really helps you organize yourself. I have a listening workshop that will teach you the best practices so that you can understand native speakers. So these are short programs that will definitely help you on your journey to fluency. You can get the info in the description of this video, okay? But let's go, because I'm really pumped. Ah, next one, I'm pumped for the next one, uh, about the next expression. So here you can say, to be pumped or to be pumped up, okay? So both would be the same thing. I prefer pumped, but you will hear sometimes uh, people saying pumped up, okay? So I am excited about something that is going to happen. So I'm pumped for tonight's live lesson because here I'm just posting a lesson, but tonight, this week, I'll be going live every night to talk about the workshop, to, to interact with the people participating, to answer questions about the workshop, to bring extra ideas, and to have a good time, right? So I am pumped for tonight's live lesson, live recap. It's a review, it's not a workshop, okay? Now, we're pumped for the game tonight. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're not going to Disney anymore. I was so pumped up. But mom, we're not going to Disney anymore. I was so pumped. I told all my friends, why? Why did you do this to me? You're so mean. Never break a promise to a child. 
and to adults, especially adults. <laughs> It's true, you know, I feel devastated when I am pumped up, you know, for something. And then people change their plans. And I'm like, yo, yo, but I'm, I'm really pumped up. Don't do that to me. It's devastating. It is. Anyway, next one. To be fired up. Fired up and ready to go. Fired up and ready to go, you know, um, here, it means to be feeling excited, all of them being excited, okay, I know I will sound a little bit repetitive, but it is, that's what I wanted to see, guys, and a big disclaimer here, of course you can use excited, go for it, okay, absolutely, it's correct, people will understand you anywhere, anytime, but it's for you to improve your comprehension improve your quality your english quality take it out take it to the next level make your english more sophisticated people will look at you and be like wow your english is so good where did you learn it <laughs> with teacher pricks <laughs> i hope so uh now guys so here are some examples i'm fired up about this new gig do you know the word gig it's a job, more informally, okay? Uh, so when you get a gig, it, it means you get a job. Oh, I need a gig. I need a new gig. I need a new job. I need something, especially more informal jobs, okay? Not like the five to eight to, to five kind of job, the more informal one. So I got this gig. It's really nice, okay? Um, artists, singers, bands, they usually refer to their work as a gig but you can use in any other job that is more informal, okay? So I am fired up about this, about this new gig. Oh my goodness. Another example. I get all fired up whenever I listen to my favorite band. Does that happen to you? <gasps> I want to know. Because to learn a lesson, I must use it. Post one example in the comments. So I get all fired up whenever my workshop starts. When my workshop starts, it started today, I get all fired up because people learn a lot. They speak English. They, oh my God, they unlock their minds. So this is so cool for me. And I wanted to have that quality. I wanted to be fired up too. Now guys, moving on, the last one. To be stoked. To be stoked, this is, this is a slang, okay? This, I think this is perhaps one of the most informal ones, but it's cool. It means you're very excited about something. <laughs> All of them mean the same thing, okay? To be excited about something. So this means, okay, so let's go to an example. I'm so stoked about my next vacation that I can't concentrate at all. My God, I can't concentrate. Why? I'm so stoked about my next vacation. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to... Hawaii. I'm going to Hawaii. I'm so stoked. Yes. Okay. And another example. Oh, maybe I'm visiting a friend and I arrive with my friends and we get there to visit this friend that we have in common. So when my friend opens the door, she's like, oh my God, you're finally here. Everyone is stoked to see you. How have you been? Okay. So these guys, these are expressions, words that people use in everyday conversations. And you need to learn. As I told you, I watched a, a TV show last week and I saw three of these, uh, of these expressions. So it is important for you to... I saw two in one episode and another one in another episode. So for you to see that they're popular, maybe you're just going to continue with excited. And it's fine by me. Expression. I'm okay with that. Fine by me. However, I want you to understand people. And you need to take your English to the next level, especially <coughs> if you finish your basic practice. And right now you're stuck at pre-intermediate and intermediate level. So this is one lesson that is going to help you improve, okay? Now, guys, tomorrow in the morning, I'll be going with another, uh, you, I'll be posting a new lesson to talk about prepositions two and four. And this is something that it shouldn't confuse all the time, so tomorrow, I'll make a very simple, objective lesson that will help you with these two prepositions. But other than that, share, like, subscribe, get my study plan if you need to organize yourself. But other than that, 
I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.